Another in a long line of presidential decrees to restructure Tunisia's politics. This time, President Kais Saeed has ordered the constitution to be rewritten. A committee will be formed to establish a new republic. It will conclude its work within a few days, because our cases and choices are clear. It was introduced after the 2011 uprising that toppled longtime dictator Zine El Abedin Ben Ali. Said's critics warn the changes he's making may alter the course of democracy in a North African country. This new republic or this new constitution that will also, will underpin the new republic will not include uh, it, the old political parties that formed, uh, let's say, the backbone of the Tunisian Republic until July last year, and will only include a limited number of political and social actors that the president has identified as um, his partners in this, uh, let's say, new route, in this new trajectory uh, for the country. In late April, the president granted himself sweeping powers to appoint the election commission. It's seen as a blow to the democratic gains made since 2011. Said has already dismissed parliament and taken control of the judiciary after assuming executive authority last year. The opposition denounces his moves as a coup. They founded a new alliance against the president. We want to launch a dialogue immediately to come up with a rescue plan and offer concrete proposals that are widely supported by Tunisia's political and social forces. This can only be achieved through a national dialogue, a non-exclusive national dialogue. Tunisia's Western donors have echoed that sentiment, urging Saeed to return to a democratic constitutional path. Said's rise to the country's highest office came off the back of growing frustrations over economic stagnation and political paralysis. But Said's growing grip on the country could be interrupted with a looming economic crisis. His government is struggling to finance its 2022 deficit and repay debts. He argues that his actions are illegal and says he'll put his proposed constitution to a referendum in July. Rahul Radhakrishnan, TRT World.